Welcome to part 29 of Pokemon Emerald. Today we're going to be headed towards Fortree City. And yeah, while we aren't going to necessarily make it to Fortree City, due to the fact that we're pretty much going to be spending most of our time on the routes. And there's a reason why. It's a long, daunting path to the roots. In fact, the surfing's the least of my problems. First and foremost, there's still the reporter. By the way, I might as well show this battle off because you're gonna see these guys multiple times. This is basically going to give you some sort of experience, and that's all there is to it. But, as I was saying, surfing's the least of your problems. When you're trying to go... Actually, no. No, you're still surfing regardless. Because I'm pretty sure you have to surf and uh, make your way up north, which is where Fortree City is. The problem that I have with this game... And... Oh! Bollocks! Well, so much for that. I may have to pretty much rely on, uh, something. I, I pretty much have to rely on either Pelipper or Marsh Stomp. One of the two. Preferably Marsh Stomp. I'll just probably get rid of Loud Red or something. Oh wait, I have a paralyzed heal. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. Why am I using X speed? Oh right, Shedinja, never mind. And plus get those things out of my bag because uh how shall I put this? Um those X speeds and all those X uh, power ups will just stack up. But as I was saying, we're going to be practically surfing through most of this and then making a way up north. And yeah, it is going to be a long. Oh god, I got confused! No! Damn it! You know what? Just, just screw you! Screw you! Hopefully this takes out the Magnemite. Probably won't. Ah, you stupid loud red. This is why I didn't get- Oh, damn it! It just juiced- It just used Thunder Wave. God damn it, hold on. Not just use Surf to try to clear things out. Uh, of course he's gonna use out Uproar. Why is it he? Hopefully the Surf would actually knock out both of these Pokemon. Perfect! That ought to take him down. Wait, what? You mean to tell me he's still up? Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, don't worry, we got it. We got it. It's over. And this time it's down. Alright! We don't need to worry about the inner viewer, we just need to keep on going. To be quite honest with you, I don't need to do an interview with you. I don't know what a, what you'll get, but still, I don't need to do an interview with you. You're just free experience. We'll worry about that interview probably when hell freezes over. 
right now, let me heal up my Pokemon. First of all, Paralysis Heal. Let's get Paralysis Heal on the other Pokemon, too. And also revive my Sedinja. That's just been ruthlessly murdered for no reason. Well, actually, there was a reason. It was, uh, confused. And it did it to himself. Oops. Yeah, I know, I should take that Pokemon out of my Poke... Uh, out of my, uh, Pokemon lineup, but still. For the time being, I'm just gonna hold down the fort with him. And plus, eventually we'll run into a rest anyway. Or a trainer, one of the two. But like I said, we definitely have a long way to go. And now, one of the major complaints will be... But what about Gen 1 and 2? They have a long surf section. Yeah, sure. However, here's the thing. Gems 3 through 6 are all optional. And it's the 7th and 8th one that are mandatory. Everything I just went through in... Oh, and also in Gen 2, after the 4th gem, everything is optional. Now here's the deal. In Gen 3, it's a linear path. An entire linear path with story trickled in between. God forbid that we actually fight off in the story. You can't really avoid it. But when it comes down to the gyms, you have to have uh, Roxanne first in order for you to use Cut. You're gonna have to have Broly to use Flash. You're gonna have to have Watson to use Rock Smash. You're gonna have to have Flattery to use Strength. And you're gonna have to have Norman to use Surf. Later on, we gotta beat Winona for Fly. Later on in that, we gotta beat uh, Tate and Lila for a uh, dive, and after that we gotta face Juan because Wallace isn't here. We have to face Juan for the ability to use Waterfall. And we also ran into Steven. Oh, don't worry, we'll end up fighting that guy a little bit later. Not a little bit, a whole lot later. He's basically the second to last challenge in this game, aside from all the rare Pokemon. No, actually, he should be the last challenge. Aside from the rare Pokemon. Or legendary, so I should say. But, whatever the case, it's all just one straight path. And yes, Gen 4 through 5 is a linear path, though. 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 is a linear path. I had to fix my mouth because I just got finished playing Gen 6. And yes, that too is a linear path. I mean, that can't be helped, but Gen 3 paved the way for a linear path gym leader, which is something that Gen 1 and 2 actually did not do. So, we just need to go up. Perfect. So, what happens if I go up? Oh, never mind, I'm just gonna have to run into a battle, I suppose. Unfortunately, I may have to, you know, backtrack. But for right now, we got Talo as an enemy, and also as a, uh, spark victim, basically. And down it goes. Alright, next up, we're going to take on the next challenger, which is a Swellow. Oh god, my mouse! Ouch, my face! Sorry about that, I hit my mic. My mouse go. Ah, my mouse fell off my bed, I am so sorry about that. Oh, I should have repositioned all of my stuff. But it's okay! Swallow has been defeated. And just like that, we took care of a 
Whoa! Vigoroth has about 10 more levels. Then we'll worry about that. Time B, let's... Oh, right. Uh, I thought that was a uh, person just standing there to give me info, and I would just walk past. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Oh, look, a Wingo! At level 26. Honestly, God, I should have really held off on that Wingo. Now that I stop to think about it, but hey, by the time it's level 30, it got EVs. So, yeah. I could have caught a better Wingo. I really could have. But, I'm happy with the one I got. Oh well. It happens. I'm gonna pick this up, and that's a Hyper Potion! Ooh! Hey, stop that! I don't need you! I already have a Manetric! And you're not even shiny! And even if you were, that would be redundant to capture more than one type of the same Poka. Mon. Uh, we're going to be going back, because I know where that leads to. That actually leads to Lily Cove. So it's going up instead. Let's see. Let's make sure. Let's make sure I'm reading the map correctly. And yes, we're going to have to go all the way up to Fortree City. All the way to... Yeah, I was right. That does lead to Lily Cove. Let's know that leads to Moss Deep anyway. There's Evergreen City. We got a lot of surfing to do all the way up here. And we pretty much only discovered a portion of the map. Oh, God forbid we get dive. Y'all think the surfing is bad? Oh, the dive is gonna have you beat in that regard. So let's use Vigoroth to cut the grass. Yeah. Just... <clears throat> Just cut the grass. And keep cutting the grass. Why did I cut this tall grass? Real simple. If I cut it, I don't have to worry about a uh, random encounter. That just makes things easier for me, and plus, I don't need to be ambushed by people in the tall grass. Which is literally moving towards my position, as you can wholeheartedly see. It's just like cutting the short grass, and I think you can start doing this in Gen 2. But Gen 3, definitely. Do this if you want to avoid too many random encounters. I'll be taking that. It's a super repel, and why didn't I use this? I have a super repel! Three of them! Why didn't I use them? No, I want to cut. Cut, you fool! Alright. Oh, crap! Just what I thought I could get out of there. And Really? Uh, I might as well just put my zigzagoon into the nursery. Might as well. Hopefully it would have been taught something a little bit better. So what's in here? Oh! This imbecile caught a bunch of Wingle and, and put him in his house. Okay, this NPC is beyond retarded. He thought that the only way to learn fly is to be surrounded by flying Pokemon. First and foremost... Uh... You got to teach the Pokemon fly. And then you got to beat Winona. Well, not in that order. Oh, and for the record, ladies and gentlemen, I should be kicking myself repeatedly because I need to go back to 
Marvel to get the acro bike because the acro bike can go on those high beams. Oops, didn't think about that. But oh well. Unfortunately, I use an electric type on a grass type. I am a fool. Hopefully I don't get poisoned. Because Gloom may have a spore. Well, actually poison spore. Or even worse, I hope I don't get paralyzed. Aw, oh, damn! Crap, I got poisoned! And just when I thought I was gonna finish off this battle. But primarily I kept Manetric in so I could, uh, cause it to gain some more energy. Not energy, some experience points, sorry. So that uh, Manetric can level up. So that I can use Manetric as my starting Pokémon when I run through Winona's gym. That's the only reason why Manetric's at the forefront. And oh god, he's got Rosalia. Oh, this thing's not gonna sweep me again. Screw that! My Pelipper's stronger, my Pelipper is faster. <clears throat> and my Pelipper's about to turn into level 31. It's not gonna evolve anytime soon, so don't even worry about that. And with that, that takes care of that trainer. And if there's anything else I need to say about our expedition, yeah, we are going to run into plot, as I mentioned before. So keep on the lookout for that. Because plot does happen, much to my dismay, as do trainers registering themselves in the Pokénav. By the way, I do believe you can only have a certain amount of people you can put in a Pokénav, so I've got to be careful. Anyway, I think I took out those stones so that I could have more room in my inventory. And I'm going to have to go down to the river in order for me to actually uh, take the Pokeball that's down there, and I've totally forgotten about it. And plus, not to mention, there's a secret base that I could just come out of so that I can take a shortcut across the way or take a shortcut back to Route 110. I mean, there's just so many ways to travel, but unfortunately, you may have to get here via surfing first. You have to discover the land before you use the secret uh, power. That's the only rule against secret power. Outside of battle, in Gen 3. Oh, you think Gen 4 onward uses secret power outside of battle? Nope. Anyway, I will be right back. By the way, that will actually take you to the secret base near Route 110. And I don't need to move back there. Like I said, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alright, I'm back. I have to take a little bit of a break. Because, yeah, I was getting a little bit too exhausted to my work session. But, here we go. We ended up walking into the grass, and we found a zigzag dude about to level up into a nine loop. Line new. I'm leaving that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to head straight up this area here. And, of course, we find a battle. Might as well mention these guys. Park Rangers. Park Rangers will have high-level Pokemon and some evolutions, like for instance, Brelu. I mean, it's obviously going to have high-level Pokemon, but they are going to have evolutions like Brelu. They're going to have probably a Dust Tox or a uh, Beauty Fly, depending on the situation. 
but normally they carry, like, a uh, evolved species of Pokemon. And they're frequent within the grass, obviously. But there's one other group of trainers you need to watch out for. Ninjas, yeah. They're in this route, too. Difference is, the ninjas will actually hide as trees. Oh, great, I've got a ranger as a... contact. Alright, let's start chopping away. We should be headed straight for plot in just a moment. Let's chop away all this grass. I know you're probably sick and tired of seeing the menu, but there isn't a way for you to automatically cut the grass. You won't see that until probably Gen 6 or 7, one of the two. That was easy. Oh wait, I think I may have to go to that double battle. Shit! Ah, 25? That's less than the last one I fought. Yeah, we're running. Well, we should heal first, but I think we should run. <sighs> oh no, we're just going to, you know, heal and keep fighting the Lion Newton that just threw sand in my face. But it doesn't matter, we're just gonna leave. And... Oh, right! There was another way we could go that involved the mock bike. Too bad you can't trade out bikes in the middle of the area. It would actually help. Or, or, if the bike shop owner was smart, they would have gave you two of them. But that's not the case. Oh, great, we ran into a ninja. I told you ninjas would probably disguise themselves. And sure enough, here's one and also a fire charmer. No, a kindler, sorry. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the ninja out. Well, at least I didn't run into an enemy Sedinja. That's a good thing, at least. So, uh, the ninjas will carry ninjas. Ironically enough, that's the Pokemon that I have in my box, you know, in my daycare center right about now. And the Kindlers will carry all fire Pokemon. I've pretty much gone over Kindlers. But beware, I do believe there is a, uh, trainer that does have a Shedinja somewhere. I just don't remember which one it is. Yeah, let's finish this off. Shockwave to him, and a Surf to, uh, Slugma. Ooh! One shot at that coughing. Pretty cool. Vigoroth is getting all sorts of, um, experience points. And that's basically helping me out in the long run. Uh, sorry about that. Because you see, I'm going to give Ice Beam to either Pelipper, uh, Marsh Stomp, or uh, Vigoroth. One of the two. Or Slacking if it evolves. One thing is perfectly clear, that when I give Ice Beam to one of those three, they're going to be the main um, focus towards taking down, well, one of the main three that's going to be focused on taking down uh, Winona. If push comes to shove, I'll just use Marsh Stomp with Rock Tube and Rock and Rollout, and I do believe we have Manetric also in the lead too. But I think we are almost to our next destination, which is... Plot. Oh... Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. In the next episode, Plot happens, ladies and gentlemen. 
Because we got to go into the Institute to save the people who are there from Team Aqua. This is RFE Man 985. See you guys next time. And oh yeah, our rival will show up too. I hate this plot.